Trump-hating New York mayor just caught in disgusting illegal act that could cost him his mayor seat by Prissy Holly for VeteranAF.com. New York Mayor de Blasio is nothing but a traitor and an enemy to our country. Several months ago, the mayor uh, joined violent protesters in Germany for an anti-Trump event where protesters physically attacked police and set dozens of cars on fire. Then, immediately afterwards, de Blasio was busted for working with Muslim terrorists where uh, he dismantled the city's surveillance program on mosques at the request of CARE. Thanks to de Blasio ending uh, surveillance on terror-tied mosques, Seifolo Seipov was then able to carry out his terror attack on New York City back in the fall where he rented a truck and plowed over joggers and cyclists near Ground Zero while screaming Alu Akbar. Uh, if that wasn't enough to get this man removed from the city as mayor, he was just busted in a massive felony after what investigators have just discovered through court documents revealing shady bribery deals that went on during his election, Conservative Daily Post has more. The corruption of the left in the United States truly knows no bounds. Those lucky or shady enough to have a D next to their name operate on a justice system much different than the one that keeps the American people in line. Take Democratic Mayor Bill de Blasio of New York City as an example as recent findings from court shows that he was offered and took bribes from financiers to get them better deals and access to the state's resources. De Blasio is one of the most crooked and corrupt politicians operating in the United States. His status as mayor of New York City should be enough to settle most debates, but this latest revelation simply shows that Democratic politicians truly answer to no one. The findings from court documents are showing that one Harendra Singh lobbied to access to get access to uh, de Blasio and even managed to get him to take the bribe to help Singh out. This is the definition of pay to play as the politician was taking bribes from private citizens in order to garner special treatment. In this case, it was a restaurant on state property that Singh was interested in getting the rates lowered. So he offered de Blasio money in exchange for making it happen. This is after almost a year-long investigation into President Trump for something he was accused of with no evidence, and yet Democrats still do not think of themselves as criminals. It is incredibly troubling to think that this man was caught doing something illegal, and the worst that happens is that he gets uh, slightly embarrassed. The mayor took money from a private citizen in order to give that certain citizen privilege over other citizens. At the very least, it should call for an entirely new task force devoted to uncovering more instances of this kind of behavior. de Blasio is not just famous for being a known criminal, but he has now become more of an icon for the Sanctuary City movement. His fight against the NYPD to enforce the law has become widely known because his status as a Democrat forces him to be an advocate for sanctuary city policies, policies that likely keep the mayoral seats blue in many cities. It would truly be a miracle if the great city of New York City would one day return to having a leader that cared about the people, a leader that would fight to uphold the laws of the city while bringing back prosperity to the lower income neighborhoods. However, this is a distant dream at the, this while Democrats are still demanding sanctuary cities remain protected from federal prosecutors. Instead, the great people of New York City are forced to watch as their mayor is exonerated and even praised for being an obstructionist criminal. de Blasio wants nothing more than power, and these latest findings prove that he is willing to forsake morality in order to acquire it. 
do the people of New York City really want a man at the helm who picks and chooses his battles based on who his highest bidder is? This is absolutely sickening. Not only is de Blasio exonerated from his, for his crimes, but he's then praised for being a criminal. This should, uh, shouldn't come as much, uh, as much a surprise considering the disgusting thing that the mayor pulled immediately after terror struck his city, where rather than meeting with the grieving members of his community, de Blasio decided to put Muslims of his city on a pedestal. After learning that the Muslim terrorists worshipped at the uh, very same mosque that de Blasio has dismantled surveillance on, the mayor made it crystal clear whose side he was on by holding a special ceremony for the son of a terrorist in his city. Not quite done pandering to Muslim terrorists, de Blasio took his disgusting antics to a whole new level where he personally made sure that Omar Ahmed Sattar, uh, who is the son of convicted terrorist and an associate of Blind Sheik, Omar Abdel Rahman, was rewarded with a prominent position within the city, showing yet again that if you're a Muslim extremist, you're automatic, you automatically get preferential treatment in de Blasio City. Omar Ahmed Sattar was given a prominent position with the FDNY, New York City Fire Department, where he now has the inside scoop of what's going on in the city. Rather than being treated as he should be, as a, the son of a terrorist, Pamela Geller exposed the deeply troubling story and has more. This is as aggravating as it is troubling. This week we learned that the uh, bike path truck jihadi worshipped at a mosque that has been motivate, uh, monitored by the New York City Police Department before Mayor uh, Bill de Blasio dismantled that surveillance program at the behest of CARE. Now, in the furtherance of progressive political correctness, de Blasio's FDNY has hired Omar Ahmad Sitar, the son of Ahmed Abdel Sitar, a convicted jihadist associated, associate of blind sheik Omar Abdel Rahman. It's uh, pretty sick that we have elected leaders who are more concerned with their own well-being than the safety and security of the very people who voted him into office, but now that de Blasio's illegal escapades are being aired with this dirty election scheme, it uh, won't be long until a full investigation into his crimes is launched, which could have uh, huge implications on his political aspirations. Well, we saw that didn't happen. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.